Merkava MK4 vs T90 MS and T14 Armada, why Merkava MK4 is the best modern battle tank in the world. Since the Israeli army deployed Merkava tanks in the recent battle against the terrorist group Hamas, Russian propagandists have been circulating stories on social media of a Russian T-90M tank being blown up in the war in Ukraine as an Israeli Merkava tank being destroyed by Hamas militants. The video shows the Ukrainian territory, not overpopulated Gaza, where Israeli army reservists prepare for military operations. Several news outlets, including independent investigative publications The Insider and Reuters, have reported that the tank in the footage is a Russian T-90M in Ukraine. This video analyzes the Merkava MK4, T-90MS and T-14 Armada and explains why Merkava MK4 is the world's best modern main battle tank. T-90 Main Battle Tank T-90 was developed just before the collapse of the Soviet Union and further developed the T-72. Russia's designation of T-90 is T-72 BU, but it is marketed as T-90 for export customers, as with all Russian military hardware, adding a designation like T-72 MK1. MK2 or Block 1 and Block 2 upgrade would discourage foreign buyers. T90 almost didn't exist until the Indian Army decided to purchase the renamed T72 Bu tank as T90 Bishma. Its initial production commenced in 1992 after India placed the order to produce T90 Bishma. Read the article How India Sip T90 Poison to Save Russian Tank Industry to Learn the Shoddy Deal Behind T90 Bishma. The T90 was supposed to have a store active protection system, effective against anti tank guided missile. But the problem was that the tank occupied a large portion of the front of the turret with the Contact 5 explosive reactive armor, so Russian engineers could not fit a proper active protection system to cover 360 degrees, hence Contact 5 reactive armor was used to protect the tank. T-90 tank thermal imaging system is made in France, not in Russia. Russia tried to develop a thermal imaging system, but the localization effort of French thermal imaging was never successful. Images appeared on the internet that Russian suppliers deliver rubber padding instead of Contact 5 explosive reactive armor to tank assembly lines, making the tank vulnerable to even a handheld grenade dropped from a Ukrainian FPV drone. The oligarch steals money from all Russian military projects, leaving Russia with nothing. Russian T-90M suffers catastrophic damage after being struck by Ukrainian anti-tank missile fire, footage captured by overhead Ukrainian Armed Forces Reconnaissance Drone. D-14 Armada Tank the origins of T-14 Armada lie in the cancelled T-95, Object 148, project. This tank, a casualty of the troubled 1990s, was finally abandoned in 2010. According to Russian state media outlet TASS, the tank has had issues with its engine and thermal imagers, which producers claim to have never been fixed in 2020. According to the Associated Press, in one instance, one of the T-14 tanks broke down during a 2015 Victory Day parade. The D-14 tank was fitted with the 5TDF engine, a failed attempt to copy a German World War II engine. Russia briefly deployed the T-14 Armada in the Ukraine war. It withdrew as fast as possible because the tank moves only under the cover of a group of technicians and engineers, according to Russian defense journalist Skomorokov. Russian defense journalist Roman Skomorokov has been sentenced to jail for blowing the whistle on T-14. D-14 Armada, in the end, proved the story of technology overreach. The fact remains that the T-14 will remain a prototype toy with no chance of mass production. Only one experimental tank company was ever formed in the Central Military District, and the chances it will appear on a front line, except for propaganda purposes, are small. All Russian tank engines are remarkably designed and built at the Kharkov locomotive plant in Kharkiv, Ukraine, which was now destroyed by Russian forces during the Ukraine war. Merkava Mk-4 AI-powered tank Merkava Barak also known as Merkava Mk-4, is the world's first tank platform equipped with artificial intelligence, smart mission computers, sensors, radar and cameras, offering superiority to Israeli troops by revealing enemy locations and providing targets for combat troops on the battlefield based on 360-degree peripheral observation technology. This advanced artificial intelligence will reduce the team members' workload and help them accurately locate and strike targets. Merkava is fitted with the world's best Raphael Trophy Active Protection System, APS, nicknamed Merkava IVM Windbreaker, one of the world's most protected main battle tanks. Merkava Mk-4 is equipped with a modern fire control and sighting system, which includes computerized ballistic calculations and compensations, a dual-axis stabilized gunner sight and a dual-axis stabilized commander panoramic sight, both equipped with advanced FLIR and TV channels for day and night operation.
The Merkava 4 is also fitted with an advanced battle management system designed by Albit Systems. The system provides networking between the commander's tank and subordinate units and enables the crew to plan missions, navigate, and continuously update their situation awareness. The system also allows the commander to receive tactical displays in the Merkava MK4 to record and debrief the operation using the tank's digital recorder. The Merkava MK4 can fire a full range of 120mm ammunition types, including 120mm kinetic rounds and their training derivatives, heat types, and anti-personnel anti-material ammunitions. The secondary armament consists of a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mounted on the right side of the turret roof and an internally mounted 60mm breech-loaded mortar. The commander from within the turret is under complete armor protection and can traverse the turret 360 degrees. The most sensitive areas of a tank, its optics, exhaust ports and ventilators, are all protected by a newly developed high-strength metal mesh. A driver's rear-facing camera has been installed to improve navigation and maneuverability in an urban environment by day or night. The tank is protected against various threats, including air-launched precision-guided missiles and advanced and top-attack anti-tank weapons. Automatic fire detection and suppression have been installed. The underside of the hull has been fitted with additional armor protection against mines. The Merkava MK4 is now equipped with the Trophy Active Protection System developed by the Israeli company Rafael. The Trophy is a situational awareness and active protection hard kill system that operates in three major stages, threat detection and threat tracking followed by hard kill countermeasure, multiple explosive formed penetrators, MAFP, activation and threat neutralization. Merkava 4 is powered by a V12 MTU GD883 diesel engine rated 1,500 horsepower. The engine compartment and one fuel tank are at the front of the tank, and two fuel tanks are at the back. Merkava vs T90 and T14 The T90 tank's Shtora 1 system is ineffective against top attack missiles like the Javelin and Lua. You have seen the evidence of the destruction of T90 in the Ukraine war. Currently, this system is considered outdated, as is the T90's reactive armor, which didn't explode in the Ukraine war to protect the tank crew. Latest Russian tanks no longer use infrared jammers, though Russia has laser warning receivers, but to save cost, Russia didn't use laser warning receivers to trigger smoke grenades. The T-90 main battle tank has a semi-stabilized 125mm smoothbore gun and a machine gun as secondary armament. Russian tank munitions have a hit probability of 80% at the 3000m range and 70% at the 4000m range. The maximum rate of fire is 6 rounds per minute. However, judging by the recent performance of Russian tanks in the Ukraine war, it turned out that these munitions have a hit probability against stationary targets of only around 50%. These missiles will be even less accurate against moving targets, as seen in this video. A total of 22 rounds are carried in the T-90 tank's autoloader and are ready to fire. However, the remaining ammunition is stored in the main compartment rather than a separate compartment with blowout panels. This drawback was common to all Russian and Chinese main battle tanks and their export derivatives. Once the armor is penetrated, it can trigger the detonation of onboard ammunition, which you have seen in many videos of T-90 tanks burning in the Ukraine war. Russian and Chinese origin tanks lack battle management systems, countermeasures, sensors and communication suites for networking with army units. On the contrary, crew protection is the highest priority in all Western tank designs, including the Merkava tank. This Merkava tank's trophy APS can defeat recoilless rifles and anti-tank guided missiles of Chinese and Russian origin. Merkava also has countermeasures to prevent trophy itself from being jammed by counter-countermeasures. Destroying an Israeli Merkva tank is easier said than done. Merkava MK4 has highly stabilized turrets, guns and projectiles to hit the targets accurately. Merkava MK4 has the best battle management system, sensor suite and networking system compared to all main battle tanks in the east or the west. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.